Halong Bay. It literally translates as the descending dragon. A passage to another world of unique beauty and ancient secrets. Images of this UNESCO World Heritage Site are burned into the minds of every traveler who longs to visit this iconic Vietnamese treasure. The winter had transformed the crisp blue skies of my expectations into timeless fog-shrouded mystery, where misty shadows fall over the limestone karsts that rise from the water like sentinels. Beauty is beauty, no matter the season. The right boat for you is essential when touring Ha Long Bay and the sometimes frigid February cold proved I'd chosen wisely. The Emerald. Constructed in the image of a turn of the last century paddle wheel, it offered everything a traveler seeking comfort could ask for. Luxurious classic surroundings, first class dining, and plenty of activity and adventure. When they invited me to come have the Emerald experience, I'd been offered a standard room, but it being the slow season, I was welcomed with an upgrade. And I wasn't the only one. I, there was a couple here on their honeymoon, and um, when the Emerald people found out about it, instant upgrade to a suite. I thought that was pretty cool. I settled into a suite on the top deck. I wouldn't have to be turning sideways to get around the queen-size bed. And there was even a tiled shower with a separate bathroom. Given the view outside my window, I was feeling pretty happy about my situation. Standard rooms, while smaller, offer similar features and comforts. Our first adventure was Song Sot Grotto, the most famous of the caves that helped give the bay its legendary reputation for mystery, where we got an up-close look at a local fishing culture that probably hasn't changed much since the area was first settled by the Soinu people 16,000 years ago. Approaching the site, I couldn't wait to experience these quintessential Vietnamese wonders. A deceptively small entrance led to its name that translates to Cave of Surprises. That's because this tight cavern opens up to one humongous cave. It's breathtaking as you wind your way through awesome rock formations. And if you keep an eye out, you may even spot some ancient graffiti from visitors long past. On our return to the ship, we were told an afternoon treat would be waiting for us. Hey, I'm feeling a little bit spoiled because they hit you with a hot towel the minute you get back on the boat. And like I've been saying, it is a little chilly this time of year, so the hot towel is good. Now it's time for crepes on the main deck. Let's go. I sat out on the deck and I enjoyed the view. These simple but delectable treats were the perfect warm up for dinner. Entering the dining room is like stepping back in time, and you feel like you're on the set of a classic movie when you come to choose your table for meals. Fine dining is a big part of the Emerald experience, and much care is put into the presentation of the meals. A combination of local Vietnamese favorites and French-influenced dishes just feels right in these surroundings. The day was capped off with a cooking demonstration by the chef on the main deck where everyone was invited to participate. And a screening of the classic film Indochine, shot near this very spot. The following day, we were promised we'd be visiting one of the locations from the movie. Early morning brought us to the lagoon at Luan Cave, before the crowds arrived where we experience the solitude and tranquil beauty 
that made it such a memorable part of the Oscar-winning film. The Emerald's individual kayaks allow you to get away from the bustle of the boat and the opportunity to experience what I'd come here for, the mystery of Halong Bay. 